Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial and you are watching KK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about the string class and thread safety in Java. Uh, we do know that string objects are immutable. It is also true that immutable objects are thread safe. So by transitive law, string, uh, string objects are thread safe, right? In this video, let's go a little deeper into this concept of a string and thread safety in Java right so first of all uh, i would like to tell you what is the basically immutable object and thread safety so how you are going to define an immutable object an immutable object is an object that would not be able to change its state after creation thus immutable object can only be in one state and that state cannot be changed after creation of the object right when we talk about the second terminology like thread safety, right? A class is thread safe uh, if it behaves correctly when accessed uh, from the multiple uh, threads, right? Where correctness means that a class conforms to its specification, right? When we talk about the thread safety uh, in a string class, a string in Java being immutable has the specification that the string a strings are constant, right? Their values can't be changed after they are created. But there is a little confusion with many uh, people uh, when it comes to the string and thread safety in Java. Many people think that a string is immutable, so thread safety here should mean even if multiple threads are accessing the same string, uh, those uh, threads should not be able to change the content of the string at all, right? But threads can uh, basically change the content. Main point here is that in that case reference of that uh, string will also change right whenever content of the string is changed a new string is created and the reference is changed as well right same thing will happen in case of the multiple threads too right so let's try to see uh, this with an example right so here i have created an example in client one package and let me show you this code basically what i have created in this example basically here you can see main method uh, first of all i have created a class is called a string handling uh, that implements runnable interface and i have declared one uh, string reference uh, instance variable that i am initializing within the constructor right and as this class uh, implements runnable interface so i have over in a run method and inside the run method i am just printing the name of the thread and uh, just introducing some delay because uh, i want uh, to give the chance to, to other thread as well and here i am doing the some kind of concatenation operation so here uh, this string right whatever caller is sending that i am concatenating with the thread name and same i am trying to print in the run method target method in the main method i have created a three threads t1 t2 and t3 i am sharing the same string object in all of them and just i have started all these three threads waiting for all of thread to finish i have called uh, join method method on all uh, these three threads right and uh, so that uh, this will uh, i mean uh, jvm will try to finish uh, work by all the three threads and finally will we are printing a uh, value of uh, original string which is going to share between these three threads finally in the main method and see what uh, value we are getting over here right so here basically if you look into in this example uh, three threads are, are created and all of them share the same string object uh, in each of these threads uh, thread name is appended to the string and then that string is printed uh, here also we have called the join method join method used here to wait for all of the threads to finish and then the string object is uh, printing again in the main method right so let's try to run this application and see what output we are getting over here right so uh, here i'm gonna run this application and see what output so here is the output right so here you should note that every thread changes the content of the string but uh, in the process where str right when i talk about the str means i'm talking about the string this str uh, refers to uh, is also changed right so so effectively each of the thread get their own string object right once all the threads finish 
str is printed in the main method again and it can be seen that original string is printed meaning uh, original reference with the original content remains remain as it is right so here original string is getting printed as it is means no other threads has changed its value right and every thread here you can see every thread has its own copy so uh, when you uh, call the start method and when uh, a, a, any threads gets chance to uh, I, I mean get chance to run this run method then every thread is printing the uh, thread name so that's getting printed and now every thread uh, will have its own copy of this string right so here you can see first uh, uh, this is getting printed by thread 1 abc thread 1 then thread 2 right abc thread 2 and thread 0 abc uh, thread 0 right so here we haven't given the thread name so jvm basically gives the thread name something like this thread 0 thread 1 and thread 2 something like that but every thread is ha is having the own copy right original copy is still not modified and that's the way basically uh, um, that's the way basically we can say that a string is thread safe in multi thread environment as well right now same example i have created in this different package so with the same class name everything is same as it is except this uh, instead of a string buffer a string a string uh, reference we have taken the uh, a string buffer class right and this of the code would be as it is right and same here we have created the string buffer and initialized with the abc and same string buffer i have shared among all these three threads i have started all these three threads and here i have called i call the join method on every thread just i would like to finish uh, uh, all these three th threads first and then finally we are checking the content of this uh, basically string buffer and let's see what uh, basically uh, output we get from this example right so if i run this example right now here all these three uh, threads are getting entered into the run method so first got the thread 0 uh, first thread uh, 0 is entered into the run method then thread 2 and then thread 1 and here you can see uh, content of every thread is same right here you can see content of every thread is sorry so here uh, if you look into the uh, basically uh, now uh, first time when uh, 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 thread uh, went into this uh, run method and saying that uh, after uh, performing the append operation saying that abc thread 2 uh, sorry abc uh, sorry uh, abc thread 2 and thread 1 that's the value now in same value when th thread uh, 2 gets a chance then in same up to here you have a same value and you are getting values at uh, thread 0 is getting concatenated right and then again saying that uh, now next output abc thread 2 and thread 1 and uh, thread 0 uh, name of the thread 0 is getting concatenated and similarly we have a abc thread 2 thread 1 and abc thread 2 thread 1 and thread 0 is getting concatenated means all this concatenation operation basically performing on the single object so here output uh, may vary in the different runs but uh, here uh, it can be seen that shared uh, nesting buffer object is modified right so that's all uh, that's all in this video tutorial that's all for this topic is uh, string and uh, uh, thread safety in java if you have any doubts or any suggestions to make please drop a comment below to the video i will try to answer the query as soon as possible i hope you understood how thread is uh, thread is considered as a, sorry a string is considered as a thread safe right so that's all i have in this video tutorial this code i'm going to check in on the github and github location you can get from the video description part itself if you really like this video then hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel as well guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial